Good day. Today we're going to be doing a little work with the HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor with Python. So with that being said, let's head over to the Raspberry Pi and let's begin. Alright, so let's create a new file here. So I'm going to go new and we're going to create a Python file and for this one we're just going to call it ultrasonic.py but before we go ahead and start doing all the work on this one here let's have a look at the schematic and the actual breadboard that we'll be working with today if we go to here you can see my live view of what it'll look like when it's all set up but I thought I'd give you a little bit better of a kind of a scope of what it looks like here so I'll bring up this file here now you can see I have GPIO 20 and 21 being used here so one's going to the trigger here and then one is going to echo here and then we have our VCC going to our 5 volt and our ground going to ground over here and then it's also being brought through the uh, I want to say that was I think in total there's the 3k or 30 I forget, I'll have to look at the resistors there, but we've got our two resistors, and then that is going to our GPIO 20. That's basically the circuit there. If I bring this in just a little bit, you should be able to see that a little bit better there. So as you can see here, I do have my ground uh, coming over to here, but on the back side here, I do have my ground coming in here and then my 5 volt line uh, coming in to here on my VCC that's on the front there so you don't really see that on the front so on the front here what you're actually seeing is uh, let me see if I can get that a little better for you so as you can see I have the trigger here and that is going over to uh, GPIO 21 on the Raspberry Pi and then GPIO 20 is coming down here I had to kind of connect them all up and then that's going into the echo there so that's our basic uh, diagram there of what's going on there I am not an expert on the Raspberry Pi or Python, I just thought I'd put that out there right away. So uh, yeah, this is just basically my experiences, my little projects and things that I've come up with or I've uh, wanted to elaborate on further when it comes to a project. So with that being said, let's dive into the coding here. So now we're ready to do our uh, program here. and. This week we're just going to do a simple program and then next week we will elaborate further on using the ultrasonic sensor in a project. I saw someone ask about this uh, on a Facebook group or something like that so I thought you know what I wonder how I could do that so I wanted to uh, bring that to you guys and figure it out with you guys so obviously if someone else wanted to do it other people are going to want to do it too so we'll get to that next week all right so we're going to go import uh, rpi dot gpio uh, as gpio and then we're going to go import time and then we'll go down one and then we're going to set the triggers here for so trig equals 21 echo equals uh, 20 we're gonna go GPIO dot set mode um, GPIO dot BCM and there we go enter and then well uh, true so well true print and then we're gonna go distance check and there we go and then 
GPI GPIO dot setup and then we're gonna go trig comma uh, trig comma GPIO dot out right enter and then GPIO dot setup and that's gonna be echo and we'll go echo and then GPIO dot in and we'll go down we want to go GPIO dot output we're gonna set uh, trig to false um, and then we're gonna go print and we're just gonna have the calming down stage calming down and then we're gonna go time dot sleep and we'll go 0 0.2 and then GPIO dot uh, output uh, trig dot oh trig true and then we can go with time dot sleep and we're going to set that for zero point three four one and then we're going to go g p i o dot output uh, trig false well g p i o dot input uh, echo echo uh, and then that's going to go zero and then we're going to do a pulse start Um, we're gonna go equals time dot time and we'll go here and then while GPIO dot input echo equals one uh, Pulse end equals time dot time. I'll go back one here and then pulse uh, duration. We're going to set that to equal uh, pulse end minus pulse. Uh, start and then we're gonna go d distance equals pulse duration and we're gonna go times one seven one five zero and then distance equals round distance comma two and then we're gonna go print uh, distance and comma distance 
comma. And then we want to go in centimeters. And then that's it. We're going to go time dot sleep. And we're going to put that for two seconds there. And that's it. Okay. So we've got that. I'm just going to... I'm not too worried about those problems right at the moment here. I'm just going to take a look here. Anything major? Um, no, it's all good there. Alright. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to clean that up. And uh, we will go ahead and run that here. And, uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the program. And basically, I'm just going to run my uh, pencil in front of it as a detection, as long as it all works here. I'm not too, too sure. But uh, I guess we will find out in just a moment here. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, right-click, and we're going to run ultrasonic. And there we go. Now we're starting to get a little bit of information there. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put the pencil in front of it. There we go. We've got 8.43 centimeters. Maybe I need something a little bit bigger here. Um, what can we use? Uh, I guess we can use, I'll use my lens cap here. There we go. Something a little bit bigger to kind of block that sensor. Perfect. Okay, there we go. The code works. Uh, now we're able to uh, use this next week here, and what we'll do is we will uh, do something fun. I'm going to tell you that. Um, I'm kind of excited to do it. Uh, this is just a quick, simple program to get us going with that sensor. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect as I'm sure it's not, honestly, I have no clue. Um, but the fact that we're going to be able to get the distance or some sort of distance as a reference, um, which we're going to be able to use with our next project next week here. So play around with the code um, and see what you can come up with. If you can figure it out, make it better, let me know. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for me for this week. This is the ultrasonic sensor set up here and usage here. Uh, and uh, yeah, we will continue on with our project here. We'll add one more thing. And then I would like to get uh, some more sensors. Uh, but I don't know what I have that we can do uh, with them. There's just too many sensors and... Uh, yeah, I don't have too many of them, so I'm running out of sensors already, so I'm going to have to get some more here soon. So, yeah, that's going to do it. So, uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Like I said, I was never going to go through every line of code with you guys. This is just me building these projects. You can use these examples and code and, and play around and see what's going on. And, uh, yeah, when it comes down to it... These are just really simple, quick and easy programs, so that way you can see what's going on. It's not a huge ton of programming uh, that's being shot at you, and you need to go, oh no, what's going on? 25 lines of code, and you're able to do something with an ultrasonic sensor. So with that being said, thank you for watching, everyone. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Take care, eh?